Hello, science community. We need to have a little talk. We need to have a little heart to heart. As a marine biology teacher, I teach algae every year. I've been doing it for a decade. And every time I get to the point where I'm teaching my students about algae, I get angry. I get infuriated. The definition drives me crazy because there are three different definitions for what is algae. Let's talk about it. The first definition is any photosynthetic organism that is not a plant. My students like this definition. It's easy. If you're photosynthetic and you're not a plant, you're algae. Great. Simple. Done. I have a problem with it, though. We'll get to it. Let's talk about the third definition. The third definition is anything that has chlorophyll and its reproductive parts are not covered. Well, plants have chlorophyll and their reproductive parts are covered. Everything else doesn't have its reproductive parts covered. So that's the same definition. It's just a little bit more detailed. It still just means anything that's photosynthetic that is not a plant. All right, still have a problem. The third definition. Third definition is any photosynthetic protus. So algae is any photosynthetic protus. I like this definition better. Here's why. Prior, we talked about taxonomy. Taxonomy was a way of organizing and naming organisms, right? And so the first level of taxonomy is domain. Domain's the broadest group. And so there are three domains of organisms on this planet. We have archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. So forget archaea for right now. We're going to talk about bacteria and eukarya. So if you're bacteria, that means you're single-celled and you have no nucleus. If you have a nucleus in your cells, then you're eukarya. Great. Easy to do. Now, we have photosynthetic bacteria. And, of course, we have photosynthetic eukaryotes or eukarya. And so if the definition is any photosynthetic organism that is not a plant, that means we have the domain bacteria and the domain eukarya being classified into the same group of algae. That means algae can come from two different domains. And they're very different. One has a nucleus, one doesn't. That's a big deal when it comes to science. And so I don't think that we should be combining two domains into one group called algae. Photosynthetic bacteria are very important. I think that they should have their own classification besides algae. OK, so let's go with the definition I like. So photosynthetic protus. Well, there's a catch. I also have a problem with the definition of protus. So within eukarya, again, cells that have a nucleus, there are four kingdoms, animalia, plantae, fungi, and protista. Now, we have a good definition of animalia, a good definition of plantae, a good definition of fungi. Protista is everything left over. Whenever you have a group that's everything left over, that's a poorly defined group. So if you're not an animal, you're not a plant, you're not a fungi, and you're your eukaryotic cell, then you're a protus. It's a little rough. We have animal-like protus, we have plant-like protus, we have fungi-like protus, and we have um, photosynthetic protus that are all thrown into the same group. So what is algae? OK, so algae, in my, in my terms, is any photosynthetic protus. So protus are all single-celled, except this is another place that I have a problem with protus. All protus are single-celled except for seaweeds. And seaweeds is an algae. I mean, it'd be a lot easier if we could say that all algae was single-celled, but we can't because we have seaweeds. Seaweeds are not a plant. Some students think they're a plant. They are not a plant. They are a multicellular protus. So why is seaweed not a plant? Well, seaweed doesn't have true roots. It doesn't have a true stem. It doesn't have true leaves. It doesn't have the organs that a plant has. Also, its reproductive parts are not covered. So science people, we need to get together and we need to figure this out. We need to figure out algae and we need to figure out protus. Otherwise, I'm going to continue to get infuriated every year when I talk about algae.